Well, hello everyone, welcome back for more Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, I entered the Forest Temple and I got two small keys already. So, let's get exploring, I guess. And I'll start off here. Let's see if this... Hmm, this door is locked already. Um, I got a feeling I'll take that one later, actually. Now, up here is the door of time, or actually the... Up there, what I was gonna say is the block of time. So I'm gonna play the song of time to remove the block. Because I got a feeling I actually need to go there. And let's just go in. And oh my god. Yay! And die. There we go. Actually, gives one step, which is really stupid. Anyways, hmm. There is a well up here, so I'll just climb upwards. And is there something here? No. Is there something I can reach here? Mm, not really. So, yeah, pretty useless place here. But that's okay. So, I'll guess I'll just go up here. And this one's easy to take out. And this one's also easy to take out. And perhaps I can... Use a bomb shoe to take out the other one, but I don't know if that works. Let's see. Well, yeah, it does work, but it's gonna be diff difficult. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see, would that work? No, that's even further away. Let's just see if I can hit that. Would it work? Would it work? Would it work? That's better. You can actually walk um, or actually climb aside but it's easier for your own sake to just do it like this but it's not required anyways let's go in in here is that thing which I oh whoops I need the hook shot where's the hook shot there's the hook shot so yeah this is really gonna matter I think I guess oh wait a minute did I actually blew it up with the bomb tube because that would be awesome. <laughs> really awesome, actually. Anyways, big chest. So it's either dungeon, map, compass, big... No, it's not the big key. Dungeon, map, compass, or um, dungeon item. Big keys are usually in different sorts of chests. So let's see. It is the dungeon map. And if we take a look at the dungeon... It is a bit larger than we're used to. But we should be fine. If you hear close later, as uh, oh my god, oh what the f wow, I actually made that. Lucky, lucky. I believe there's actually another one here. But anyways, the water of the well drains, which is good. But I believe there is another skull shell here. Hmm. But where could it be? It's not here. Also, we definitely have heard it. Hmm. Perhaps it's over there. I'll just check it out. You got oh, wait a minute. Look, it's up there. So I'll just take out this one. Enough dick and nuts for everyone, I guess. And can I hook to the chest? Yep, I can. So, I get a heart, which sucks. But anyways, I get a skull trial, which rocks. So I got three skull trial tokens already. Anyway, since the well was drained, I pretty much go and explore the wall, I guess. Ow, that hurts. Anyways, there isn't really a lot of special stuff here, but there are hearts here, which is good. And the only reason why we're actually doing this is because there's a chest here. Uh, other side. And this chest contains my third smoky sweet. So we're gonna climb up and explore this dungeon further because I think we are done here. If we look at it. I don't think I missed anything yet because I'm doing I'll get to those places later. And I explore the rest. So I think I got everything here and if I don't I'll just 
find out soon enough, I guess. Mm. So we're back at the main map. We went here. We indirectly went here. We can go there with uh, opening the eye, but that will be done later. Up there is where we cannot get yet. Up here is where we came from, so there's only one place I got to explore. And I'll just see if there's a heart in here. And magic. Awesome. And that's up here. So let's see where we're gonna end up here. Oh, there's another one of these um, bastards. Okay. No, let's see. And oh, I I don't really particularly love this room, but it's fine. We, hmm, let's see. Yeah, we'll pretty much go here. This is like some sort of puzzle. It's not really difficult, but it takes a considerable amount of time. So let's see, because there's a there are arrows painted on the floor. Indeed, that means that we gotta move this enormous block. Can I still move away whenever I move it? Or will I get trapped? Now I should be able to move it there. Yep. And then I pretty much gotta make um, a little turn to make sure I can push the block in the correct position. Because I can't move it sideways. The block is too large for that. Okay. So I'm gonna take a little walk all the way around and push the block. Ow. I said push the block, not roll into it. Because that would be stupid, huh? And there we go. Now we can pretty much climb up here and climb up there. So part two of the puzzle. And there's another block in here. Duh. Now this is actually a little bit of a mean puzzle because I cannot pull the block further than this. That's mainly because I would get squashed if I did. So I gotta go down, go to the middle, and take the ladder here. So let's see. Um, there is something here, by the way, where you need the um, bow for, but it's nothing special. Really nothing special. So let's give this a push. And now I gotta walk all the way back. Which is awesome. Is there something here that I missed? I'll just see. Yeah, I. Well, I don't really know if this was quicker or slower. It doesn't matter because eventually we'll get there anyway, so all I have to do is push it right now. And eventually I can go up further. So, let's see. There we go. Let's go up. Now you can go here, but it's pretty useless, so let's just go over there. And there's another ladder. Sweet. So let's go up. And I'll just pretty much get rid of those first. Get here, get here. There we go. So I'm gonna use the next key. And wow! Look at that, the whole. Place this corridor is all twisted, indeed. That's actually the first time I agree with Navi. But now this is important. Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. That those are wall masters, and if they catch you, you'll, they'll send you back all the way to the start of the dungeon. So, whenever you hear a certain sound, make sure you move, 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 and move. All right, so we're here. And there's nothing really special here, except these things will just disappear. You'll get back to those later. What I'm gonna do is enter here. And this is difficult. And we get another one of those, so... Uh, so they can actually walk over this place. So, once again, you pretty much wanna take these out quick. Come on, come on. Slash. Slash. Yes. Those guys are annoying and pretty strong as well, so... The big round blade is really recommended here. Now, there's one thing that's important on these two assholes. Whenever the first one dies, it has a respawn period. And as long as the other one is alive, 
he can pretty much respawn whenever he wants. And so, you gotta be quick with this one. And I'm not being really quick with this one. Come on. That's better. Now I just need to hit it one more time before the other one respawns. Come on. And there we go. I'd rather take the hit than... Yeah, risking the other to respawn. Ugh, anyways, let's see what's in the big chest here. It must be either the compass or the dungeon item. So, let's see. It's the dungeon item, the fairy bow. We can finally fire arrows. And that's really useful. It's one of the most useful items of the game, actually. So, let's go. And we got our fairy bow. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to this place. Search for the um, portraits. I believe there's one up there. Oh, it disappeared. It disappeared again. I'll just shoot this one, and it's gone. And this one's gone as well. That one's gone, and this one can't play. So we're pretty much hit it. And that's one of the posts. Which will go down. You can pretty much shoot those, I think, whenever they respawn. I think whenever you approach too close, they will... Uh... Oh, this works. That's probably even stronger. So, let's just do that. Wait for it to spawn, and you can take it out. Yeah, I'm pretty much gonna do that. Because my big on sword is so enormous, I pretty much got enough range. So, that's one of the bow sisters. Sweet. And a little chest spawns, which is good. And in the chest is a small key. Sweet. Again, actually. So I'm gonna cross over this place. And this is the other side. And is there another one here, which I can already hit? That's one. Which is pretty much behind me, it's gone already. And there's two. And since the third one can't flee, I'll just shoot him. Yes. Alright, that's the um, second bow. So I'll wait for it to um, appear. Make sure you keep sufficient distance from it. And once it spawns, pretty much slash it. And take your distance again. And bye bye. Really easy, actually, if you do it right. Shouldn't be really that much of a trouble. Uh, anyways, there's another big chest. Considering we got the dungeon map and the um, dungeon item, this must be the compass. There is no other way this can be something else. Indeed, it's the compass. Wait. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna advance on into this temple. Yep. Um, all the way here, and we need a key. And since we've got a key, we can go here. But this room is distorted as well. And once again, watch out for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. You really don't want to get grabbed by the wall masters. And if I recall correctly, I need um, a key for that door. Let me just spy. Yeah, I need a key. And since there isn't really a place I can go yet, oh well. Climb up, come on, hurry! I don't want to get grabbed. I don't want to get grabbed by those assholes. Pretty much the only thing I can do is go back to the distorted room and shoot the eye there to make it right again, I guess. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And since we're running out of video time, I'm actually gonna cut it off once I reach it there. And in the next episode, I'm gonna explore the second part of the forest temple, and hopefully the final part, if I do it quick enough. And that should be no problem. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, make sure to comment, make sure to sub, and I'll see you guys soon. And before I'm gonna say bye-bye, I'm just gonna walk a little bit on to the door. Can I actually shoot? 
Oh, they actually left. I'll just do it like that then. There we go. Thanks for watching once again. Make sure to like and sub. I'll see you soon for episode 31.